Hi, it's Paul here. For, uh, we're going to do expert investor tips today. The number one mistake uh, real estate investors make when choosing a realtor or advisor. So I, I've been doing this a number of years now and I, I interview and meet with and consult with investors you know, every week, almost every day. And whenever I hear stories about uh, past experiences when uh, other investors already have properties or mistakes they have made in the past, Eventually, my questioning leads to, you know, who is your advisor? And it's not always the advisor's fault, but a, a common theme I find is that the advisor or the realtor they were using was not an investor themselves. So the biggest mistake I find is when you're choosing a realtor or choosing uh, a, an advisor to work with and you're looking to buy investment properties, that realtor or that advisor should be an investor themselves and a successful one. So it's the same as walking into a doctor's office and the doctor is sitting there giving you health advice and saying be healthy, eat healthy, exercise, diet, all this kind of stuff. But you're looking back at the doctor and he's double fisting two cheeseburgers and you know hammering Coca-Colas. So the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that whoever your advisor is, whoever your realtor is, they have to walk their talk. If they're telling you to invest in real estate because of X, Y, and Z, it's helpful if that person is taking their own advice and is successful with it. And even more importantly, that their clients they're already working with are successful with that too. So what I would advise you, if you're looking for somebody new, uh, or you're just getting started, or you even have experience, it doesn't matter what kind of advisor it is, whether it's an accountant, a lawyer, anyone, uh, make sure you ask the right question. Do you have experience with investment properties? Are your clients successful using your strategy? It can save you a, a lot of pain and a lot of headaches. If you like this kind of information, and you want more of it, you can go to investmentpropertyanalyzertool.com. I know it's a long one, investmentpropertyanalyzertool.com and uh, sign up for our email list and we'll be talking about the uh, Southern Ontario economic trends a lot more. Okay, and if you need to email me, it's paul at rockstarbrokerage.com. Talk to you soon.